Good afternoon, everyone. Not sure if you guys caught our post last week about the counterfeit Eaton LSA isolators that have made their way into the marketplace. We wanted to do this video today to show you guys what the differences are between a non-original part and a part that's been sourced from outside of this country. Um, so here we go. This is how they come to you in a package clearly labeled Made in China. You open up the package and you get what you have here would look like an original Eaton LSA isolator. However, it's not. So we started doing some checking and digging and wanted to show you guys what the differences are. So if you look closely at these things, the finish between the two is clearly different. The one on the right here is very shiny and clear and the one on the left is very, it's almost like a satin finish, if you will. So it's got a different finish to it. The parting line on this thing is very sharp. You can see here the parting line on the original Eaton part is very soft and smooth. So it's made from a better tool, what is probably a permanent mold tool. These here are made in the USA. You know, there's no, uh, there's no fake in that. Made here, right in the good old USA. We've branded these things now with the Eaton logo on them. A serial number, so each one of these things we now track where it goes and who it goes to, so we know that we can trace it back to a batch or an issue with any of the batches, and of course the good old Supercharged Online logo. But one of the most important things we want to show you guys is what happens when you put it on a supercharger. So in front of me here we have an LSA rotor. Obviously, this guy is suffering from having used meth at one time in his life and stripped the coating off the rotors, but it made a good example. So we put a brand new hub up here on the supercharger and when you take the counterfeit part you can see it just kind of falls on the on the rotors and not very tight and then you take what we have here is an original hub and lsa shaft and you can see these things move see how much this thing's moving in here this is nothing but noise when your vehicle's running that that's where the noise comes from in here and it's amplified 10 times over in your vehicle so when you take the Chinese part off and you put on your Eaton original part. Take it down in here and give it a good push on. And then you take your shaft and you push your shaft on. You can see how tight it is to get it in there. And you can see the connection in here is a much, it's not, what's moving is the rotor itself. This connection here is solid and that's what you want. When you get deviation between these two in lateral movement you put wear on what would be the housing bearing right here and your rear bearing in your nose driver some people call the snout it's going to put unreasonable load on either of these bearings so this is where you get bearing failure from a bad part so moving forward look for the eaton logo and original eaton parts coming from supercharged online or any of our dealers here in the united states and just remember that anything from ebay is nfg no freaking good garbage don't buy them. They're trash. Thanks, guys.